is a ProPanel HD by Accure Technology. It's similar to a caliper system. It displays the measurements on the digital readout. You can press the units key um, to change from decimal inches to sixteenths. It'll have a black bar um, denoting that it's cl getting closer to the next measurement, and then it'll show you the next measurement. Uh, similar with the 30 seconds, and then you can also just show 60 fourths of an inch. You can also show decimal millimeters and decimal inches. And you press the, the datum key to datum it or to zero it. You can measure from the inside of the jaws or the outsides of the jaws. Um, and they have attachment holes um, for different attachments for locating hole to hole or um, to find your squareness, to do corner to corner measurements, or to do hole to edge measurements. And they come in lengths up to 10 feet long. So this is how you would measure a part. Um, you can press it together and make sure it's uh, zeroed at the datum. Um, then I have my part here. It's just a bent piece of sheet metal with uh, two holes drilled and countersunk. Uh, so I want to measure the outside length of the part. So when you put it together, you get about 18.007 inches. And then to measure the inside of the part, um, prop it up if you would like and you want to use the inside edge or the outside edge of the jaws on the inside edge of the part so you put it together like that and when you press the F1 key it'll swap the measurement from the inside of the jaw to the outside um, it's already calculated in the digital readout so it'll display what the inside to inside measurement is instead of the inside to inside of the jaw it'll show the measurement from the outside of the jaw So if you put on these uh, cone attachments uh, with a simple M5 wrench, um, you can locate hole to hole or hole to edge. So you can locate the edge, inside edge of that. I'm going to go back to the original measurement. So I want to measure from uh, the center of this hole to the edge of this part over here. So I'm going to put that cone into the hole and then this other cone on the edge there on the edge over there and it should uh, measure from the center of the hole because the cone has centered itself and found uh, where the center point of it of that hole is and then this is the edge of this hole here and when you're measuring hole to hole you're just going to put both of the cones into um, each of these holes here. And then it should give you the measurement that you're looking for. And the cones will, just by using gravity, seat themselves directly into the center line of that um, hole. So if you attach pins to each of these holes, uh, you can take your corner to corner measurements. So if you have uh, your part here and you need to make sure that it's square, um, so you want to measure both of your diagonals. You want to put these pins on there so you can capture the diagonals rather than the point of it hitting somewhere on the jaws. You measure your diagonal by cap capturing that side and capturing this side, pressing them together, and then you have your measurement. Do that again with the other side and compare your measurements to see how square your part is. So if you want to transmit the data from your pro panel directly to a computer, you can use an SBC transmitter receiver, plug it into this connection right here. It's battery operated, so you don't have any uh, wires or anything, and it wirelessly connects to the receiver transmitter. Um, and this is just plugged in with a simple USB into your computer.